today I'm joined with um, Rajesh Bandari, a very talented percussionist who is well known by those in the South Florida community. So welcome Rajesh, thank you for being a part of the show. Pleasure, thank you. Thank you for having me. So um, for those who don't know much about your music or haven't heard you play before, um, tell us a little bit about how you began your musical journey. As I understand it, you um, first developed a love for music when you went on a trip to India with your father, is that right? That's correct. Uh, this was uh, many, many years ago, over 30 years ago now. But yeah, so uh, I, we went to Delhi and uh, we found nice instrument, tabla, harmonium, and sitar. And then came back to uh, New York and uh, found a teacher actually from Delhi University who was based in New York and I uh, started studying from young a young age, uh, age eight. And uh, his name was Pandit Ravi Deen Ram Samaj. Yeah. Very nice. So how, um, since that time, I guess, what type of training have you gone through and, and how have you really developed um, your art as, um, as an artist? Well, I've studied with a lot, uh, a lot of masters since that point in time. Uh, Pandit Samir Chatterjee, Pandit Anindo Chatterjee, Ustad Zakir Hussain, uh, and many, many others as well. And I've uh, accompanied many artists over the years. So I've learned a lot along the way, too, of trying to uh, have the stage experience as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. So you mentioned um, some of the greats in the industry, um, Ustad Zakir Hussain and Srimati Lakshmi Shankar and even Shakira. Um, what is it like getting to play with such um, renowned musicians and, and what have you learned from those experiences? Well, it's a blessing really, honestly, um, and I uh, feel very lucky and blessed to, to have those opportunities. And um, uh, there's so much to learn in those experiences. Uh, I really, this, there's no words, you know, each, each experience is, is its own journey, you know, an adventure too. So you're going to be humbled and, and learning a lot along the way, you know, but um, you just have to be patient and, you know, enjoy it, enjoy the moment and try to soak up as much as you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So um, maybe tell us a little bit more about what you're doing today. I know you had been teaching for quite some time um, and now you're working on some other projects. What can we expect to hear from you in, in the future? Definitely. Well, I definitely have solo project going on. Um, that's always constant. And um, but I do have uh, duo and trios and all of the kind of ensemble stuff that I've been working. on. Of course, things are taking a break because of the uh, the um, pandemic and all. Uh, we're all on on break, but I think uh, hopefully soon things can get uh, be getting back to uh, up and running. Mm -hmm. And um, so, but also uh, my website uh, rajbtabla.com as far as updates, as far as uh, any potential um, news, as far as uh, performances or scheduling of any uh, content coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So how have you been spending this time? Have you been creating some new music? Do you feel, um, maybe being at home, do you feel inspired in a different way than you are when you're out um, with others? Definitely. I mean, well, it's, um, you know, being at home, there's more time for a lot of things that to be done at home practice, but also um, focusing on recording some new stuff and coming up with some new ideas and uh, working on collaborations um, in a distance with other artists too. So this is an example of that. So um, yeah, it's uh, looking forward to all the things coming along the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, technology, I think we wouldn't have been able to do this, you know, even just a few years ago, I think. So it's, it's definitely, um, even though we're all stuck at home, it's giving us these other opportunities, I think, to, to grow and try new things. So it's great. Absolutely. Um, so what do you what what do you think? Um, why do you think it's so important for artists to come together like this? And what do you hope that the audience will take away from this performance? Well, I, you know, I hope they find some simple joy, some simple pleasure in their day to hear music. You know, it's not in the live setting, but it's definitely live to some degree uh, because we had to do those takes. Um, but I would say, yeah, I hope also separate from people at the experience of, of music and art and the appreciation of it, especially being able, being separated from it now, we can't go to the movies, we can't go and see live art. It's nice to be able to have it, at least in your own uh, home, as someone sent it to you in that, in that sense. And as far as collaborating with artists in this context, it's great because we also have to learn how to be more creative of how to try to get the most out of the idea when we're not in the same room. So some of that inspiration might be lost 
but we have to find a new inspiration by being away from each other. So that's always, uh, I think, is stimulating for the creative minds too. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. Well, yeah, no, definitely. I think we're all learning and growing in this time and um, we appreciate, appreciate that you take the time and, and give us a little moment of joy and we can sit back and relax and that's definitely, um, hopefully will bring some happiness to, to those listening. Um, so thank you so much for being a part of this and, and we really appreciate it. Pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.